All right, here's the situation. All of our teachers are inside the school, surrounded now by at least four to 500 people who want a shot. The little cuties are stationed throughout, and we, and we are no longer bros. The magic is gone, and we are through, is that right? Uh-huh. Yep. But we all want what's best for Kenny, so we have to find a way to compromise and move on with our lives. So how do we do it? We use a 2-2-3. Cal, you have Kenny for two days starting on Monday. I have Kenny Thursday and Friday, and then Stan, you get him for the weekend. Then we switch. Where I have Kenny starting Monday, Stan gets two days, and Cal gets a weekend. Do we really have to do this? That, that all seems overly confusing. Okay, so we can go alternating weeks. Each one of us has Kenny for six days, and then we rotate. A week is a long time for Kenny to be with one person. Alternating weeks with a midweek visit. We have longer stretches, but chance for a break. Oh, come on, what about sleepovers? We can't take those away from Kenny. Alternating weeks with midweek overnight. It would be easier if I just knew I always had Kenny on certain days. Three, three, four, four rotation. Makes everyone's days consistent. Uh, hang on a second, guys. Everything okay, buddy? Yeah, what's going on? We're, we're almost done in here, Kenny. You liking that birthday cake flavored ice cream? Yeah, that's fine. Da -da -da. Okay, you're doing great, pal. The three, three, four, four is the most consistent, but to change weekends, we would need the two, two, five, five rotation where the weekends can actually fluctuate. I don't even know what to say. Well, I say that out of all of those, the first one makes the most sense. The 223. I agree. This way, we don't have to be bros, but Kenny still has the best possible life. 223. That's so ridiculous that it just might work.